Bye, Heavy. Good morning. It's a final full day here in Port Douglas, and today we've got a day of nothing. <laughs> Not really. Uh, we've actually been down for breakfast at the, life, at the Surf Life Saving Club. I think I said that right. It was really nice food. Uh, it was very quiet. It was 7.30 in the morning, which is when they open. Um, so there was no one else there, which is great. Uh, also, we've been down for a swim down at the beach. The water's just beautiful. The temperature's just perfect for this time of the year. We're going to head up the headland up there, see if we can get the pram. Otherwise, um, we might need to carry it up because we're keen sleeping. And we also had a coffee and smoothies. There's a lot of food that we actually want to try today. It's just for the one final day that we've got left. Um, we've got Mexican, um, kebabs, um, what else, ice cream, there's so many things. But anyways, follow us and I will show you what we get up to. Let's go! It's Nalisa and Joaquin. There's just too many steps for the pram. Me and Abby. He's already halfway up. There he is. Have a look, Abby. as far as we can go. Okay. Looks like we have to stop here guys. There's some work going on. Maybe they're going to extend the path. Uh, I know there is a road down this way. And I think it winds up around. You can get a bit higher. At least it's down the bottom of the Joaquin. We might just go down and get her again. I think we've seen the best of the views we're going to get anyway. Today we're having kebabs. Mm. It's just over the road here. We just come to the park over the other side of the road because Abby can't sit at the table. <laughs> we just finished our kebab, um, just a street away from here, and uh, we're walking back to our caravan park. We decided that we'll walk through a different street. How beautiful is this? We've got a reservation at 5.30 for the Mexican, so we're going to try and head back and just basically chillax and maybe have a sleep and then we're going to go out and have more food. Hey guys, so we just finished up at the Mexican here in Port Douglas and here's our review. So the things that we loved about it were the quality ingredients. You could tell that they were really putting the good stuff in there, uh, so that was great. Uh, secondly, the food was actually really nice tasting. It was all seasoned very nicely. 
Thirdly, the food actually came out promptly, so for us with kids, having the food come out straight away was really a great thing. Uh, and fourth, they had a, a very nice kids menu, so they basically bring out three different dishes, one of them being the dessert, uh, one after each other, so that really kept Harvey entertained while picking up his plate. So, thumbs up for that. Uh, on to the not so good things. We do know that Port Douglas is on the higher end of um, of, I guess cost uh, when you're traveling around Australia so you are going to be paying a little bit more for things here however we thought that the food probably costed a bit too much um, at this place so just expect that, that you're going to be paying over $30 for um, a plate of fajitas or nachos uh, secondly what I didn't like very much at all um, was the fact that we had to pay for guacamole separately. So I ordered uh, vegetarian fajitas and they asked me if I wanted to add guacamole to that. So that left me a bit confused. Um, when you're ordering fajitas or nachos, you expect that there's going to be guacamole, but there wasn't. But when I ordered the um, vegetarian nachos for David and they also asked me about the guacamole, I was really perplexed because where do you order nachos that don't come with guacamole? So right there that was $10 worth of guacamole between two meals. So not so good. So yeah, I think uh, that's my, my little review for the night. I hope we're not being too harsh. Um, I mean, do let me know if you think that I'm wrong and guacamole should not come and you should be paying an extra $10. Um, the, the food did taste great, uh, but I, I'm not too happy about paying over $32 for fajitas. Uh, so it's just a little bit sour on that end but other than that if you do come down do check it out and tell me what you thought uh, and lastly if you're new give us a thumbs up now we're off to get ice cream bye